through how you can create your own sales page inside of Thrivecart. You'll come up to the top where the dashboard is and click on products. We'll scroll down and you can just see I have a handful of different ones. You're going to just click create product. Whether it's digital or physical, you decide. Create new product. You get to name the product, Epic Testing. It could be Retreat, Online Program, or Course. And I love this because you get to choose the URL. So for example, if it's a retreat, you just type in the name of the retreat, like I did. So Awakening Retreat, or you could do Costa Rica Retreat. You choose, and that's what I love, is that you get to choose. Make sure that when you are ready, to launch it, you click live here or it won't actually work for your community. Then you'll come to pricing. Thrivecart's nice because you can set up this in four different ways. One time fee, subscription, split pay, or pay your own price. We'll set it up in a subscription, a monthly, and say they pay $500 to start non-refundable deposit, and then they need to pay four more times, four more months, to make it a $2,400, $2,500 retreat. You would add that in, save it, and then you would add one more. So you could do like a one-time fee of $1,800, and that's if they decide to, you get to change the name here, which is really nice standard room. and then maybe you have one time fee fifteen hundred dollars and the name is early bird so you get to change the name which is what I love so you come in here add pricing option decide if it's a payment plan or a one-time fee or a split pay once you do put the price and then on the next, let's just put something here. On the next button, this is where you get to name what it is. So if you have different room types, if you have book with a friend, if you have a payment plan, if you have whatever it is that you have, you can put those so that on the landing page, they get to choose how they pay. I love the bump, just thinking about the bump in a way that what more can I give them? How can I make this easier? How can it be more helpful? How can I educate them before the retreat? How can I serve them before the retreat? What is it that they desire? And do you have an offer or a service that you could add on? You would check this if you do, and then digital or physical. And then for example, on my retreat, I put manifestation activation because a lot of my clients want to co-create with the universe. And this program is actually like $1,000, one, 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 one. And I give it for $27. Then you get to decide, should bump be pre-selected by default? Yes or no. This is just means they have to remove it if they don't want it. So then I just put no. Another reason that I love Thrivecart so much is that you get to choose. So Apple Pay, PayPal, Stripe, and it makes a really easy option for your retreater, your client to be like, okay, I'm gonna use my credit card. Okay, I'm gonna use my PayPal. Okay, I'm gonna use my Apple Pay. They don't have to think about it. And then you also get to set up an affiliate link for this. So anyone that wants to sell your retreat or your program for you, they'll get a commission and you don't even have to worry about it Thrivecart is actually going to pay them for you. So good. Fulfillment, you're going to put your email address. If this is for an online program, you would put add them to the membership site. If you're doing a retreat, you could add, send them to a URL or you could just display the invoice. You get to choose what happens after the purchase. Then we come to checkout which Thrivecart now has all these beautiful galleries. Of course, you can always use my links. I share with you my done for you design templates as well. You can look below this video. Otherwise, you just choose here the sales cart. And then you're just gonna look at which ones that you love. Let's just imagine that you love this one. 
set up payment processor first. So let's activate my Stripe account. I just do legacy, I don't do enhanced. The reason that I don't do enhanced is because I had some problems with it. So you would wanna set up Google Pay or Apple Pay. I don't have those set up right now, but it's an option for you. Activate, again, I don't do enhanced because I just didn't have very good luck. There was like glitches with it, but you can play with it. And then support email. The good thing about Thrivecart is like, it's really self-explanatory. Like you, you don't really need to think about it. Oh yeah, th this already exists. So I can't do this because, you know, I already have my Costa Rica retreat one done. Okay, so let's launch it. This is why I love it because it's so easy to use, especially now that they made these done for you templates. You would just change the content that's here. And you can also see how it's viewed on mobile, which is really important. And you will just go through and you will edit it. So as you're looking over here, the components that you get to drag and drop, you can add blocks. This is just a playing, you just play. And then you click on it and you just add like my retreat, all the details, and you literally just get to create your sales page in here. Everything is already done for you. And then something that I want you to, to notice is that I didn't save that on purpose because I'm going to show you that you can just come in here and play with different ones. Like check it out. You have the testimonials done for you, what the product is about. You can come here, see what's involved. Like all the templates are done for you, which is so nice. You just edit it for yours. And again, like you can always use mine, my templates. I did these before Thrivecart had this, but I really do love this one right here. This one's nice because you can change the colors. Okay. So now you know, design your layout, choose it. If you want to come back to the old days where you do it on your own, this is what I've done. Look at it. This is mine. This is what mine looks like. And so then you just edit it. All right. So once you have everything in there, you would customize. Let's launch it one more time. And then I want to show you this is part one where they pay. And then what happens after they pay, this is what you'll edit. Like something that you can put here is like, I'm so excited for this retreat. What you'll do next. And then one, two, three. Or something that I've done as well is like, yay, I'm so glad. You just want to leave them a message like what happens after they pay you can change the green to your brand colors just by clicking here tick color and then you can change it to your brand colors and then you can change this like do you have a downloadable pdf you can put no do you have a support button you can put yes and then you know sometimes like people enter in their wrong email when they're signing up so it's just nice that you can come in there and like let them know like email me i'm here to support you and oftentimes if like my clients don't get their course or get their email they just have a slight typo when they were checking out so then i support them in that all right i hope that's helpful if you have any other questions on how to create your own sales page don't hesitate to 
to reach out to me. I'm going to show you now that once you are ready, like the behavior part too, this is where I teach you how to link it with ConvertKit. If you're using Thrivecart and ConvertKit, you want to make sure that you go into integrations inside of Thrivecart and connect your ConvertKit with your Thrivecart, which I'll do in a separate video. And so once you do that, you can add them to a tag and then that can be a sequence that you have and it could be leadership retreat details when the main product is purposed, save. And then another rule that you can do is like when the cart bump is purchased, add them to launch with ease bundle or want one time offer. So you'll just add them into the behavior rules where you see fit. So I just want to run through that with you one more time because I know that it can be confusing. Come up to products, create product, or hit edit. We'll edit this one more time. Close. Okay, so here you go. Options, name it. What is it? Retreat or program name. You choose what you put here. It's the URL. Make sure you hit live. Come in here and create the pricing. You get to choose the currency as well if you're not in the US. I like you doing USD even though I'm in Costa Rica because it's the most compatible. And so then you would come in here, select subscription. Make sure that when you're putting in the monthly price and the number of rebills that you read down here below that it's accurate. Send for initial purchase, send on reoccurring payments. This is so that every time you charge them, they get notified that you've, you've been charging them. It's just their reminder. If you only have a set limited amount of people that can do the payment plan, you might put three. Or if this is an online program and you only have five spaces, you might put five. Really self-explanatory. So here, pricing. Price your project price your product for how every many different pricings you have. If right now you're in the early bird stage, you can just have early bird. If right now you're offering subscription, like you're offering a monthly payment plan plus a pay in full, you'll just have two. Only have one to three payment options because after that, they need to think just a little bit too much. Decide if you're going to have a cart bump if you don't want a cart bump, then you can just take this away. You'll want to connect Google Pay, Apple Pay, Stripe, PayPal, however you wish to accept payments. Decide if this product is going to have an affiliate link where other people can market and sell this for you. Then you'll come up to fulfillment. What is the email after they purchase? And what should happen after they purchase? Once you have that set, you'll come to your checkout page. This is where you get to customize it, launch it. If you're using my design, you would just import a design. And that's where I send and share with you the link that you can edit mine. Once you come into edit, this literally is just playing around. You click on customer payment, change to your brand colors, you can put a photo here. Let me show you like the photo you have that you market and advertise online. You can add that here. Just uploading all the photos. You change the name. If you want to put like an about section, you would just take this text over and put what's included, what's not included, what happens after you purchase, etc. You can add anything. You can add testimonials, you can add bullet points. Um, testimonials is a good option too. 
and you can put the photo, the name, what they say, and you're just really dragging, playing. When you click on it, come over to the left, you can change the color, you can change how it's underlined. When you um, come in here, you have the ability to bold it, italicize it, underline it, add in bullet points, you can add in links that they can go to. When you're going to check out, it shows options, it shows customer, this is like what they're going to be paying for, the future payments, and this is really just a playing option. Then you'll come to the success page, and again, what do you want them to see? Click on that to change the color to be the same. You want all the colors to be your brand color. What happens at the end? Just play with it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me and I can support you.